Hello, my name is Nicholas, and today we're going to look at how to uh, publish to Maven Central. So you have your nice uh, library all, all uh, shiny and polished and you'd like to share it with the rest of the world. How do you go about doing that? It's, uh, there's a few extra steps compared to uh, publishing with something like NPM, but uh, it's completely doable and we're going to look at uh, how to do it for, for uh, Java libraries uh, using a, a Maven project. So to start off, I, I just have a very simple uh, project here that I've created in, in IntelliJ. Um, I have a, a, it's a Maven project and I have one class operation here with a few public static uh, files. Um, uh, more importantly, I have this POM XML here uh, with a few things. I have the uh, Maven compiler plugin and I have the JUnit dependency defined as well. Uh, and then some the, some basic boilerplate stuff. In addition, um, when I created this in GitHub, uh, it created uh, or I made it generate an MIT license for me, as well as a Git ignore, uh, where I've also just added the IntelliJ IDEA uh, files. But so this is a very simple project. Uh, we're not going to be using anything more complicated. As what we really want to illustrate is uh, how to publish to Maven, and not so much how to make a good library. And like I said, I have the source control here under uh, GitHub. It is going to be relevant because of uh, because of the uh, group ID that we're going to use. That's going to be based on the GitHub domain and then my username, and uh, and it is uh, we'll have a few links that uh, point to this repository. So so it is relevant to have uh, to have some kind of version control somewhere that you can define then in the POMXML as needed. The instructions provided on uh, Apache Maven Project's official website is a good uh, good place to start. So here we have the guide to uploading artifacts to the central repository. Uh, we can scroll down a little bit um, and we'll see here publishing your artifacts to the central repository. We have uh, approved repository hosting. So for Apache projects or fuse related project and so on, there's, uh, there's some uh, approved repository hostings. But for all other projects, uh, we're going to use the open source software repository hosting. Uh, that's provided uh, free of charge by Sonotype for any open source software projects that want to publish their artifacts. So this is what we're going to use. Uh, we can go ahead and click the link and we'll be following uh, the instructions here from, uh, from now on. The first thing you'll need to do is uh, go ahead and create your Jira account. So uh, sign up for Jira here. You'll, you'll uh, write your email, full name, username, password, so on. Uh, sign up and uh, make sure that you can log in. After that, uh, we're going uh, to create a new project ticket to request uh, the creation of a new repository uh, under the, the repository hosting. So here we can go ahead and create our, our new, uh, new ticket now. So we're gonna say create repository for um, com.github, github.myname.arithmetic. Uh, for the description, we're just gonna say as yes, a simple, simple and silly library for tutorial about um, about pub, uh, publishing to Maven Central with may I publish shing to Maven Central with open source software repository hosting there we go group ID is going to be com dot github dot my name so that's uh, we, we don't specify arithmetic there uh, here we're going to give the url to our uh, to, to our project in github and here we're going to give the same and just add dot git in the end it's going to be the the url for our git uh, git repository uh, if you want to add anybody else uh, or give access to or, or give permission to somebody else to also uh, deploy artifacts uh, you can add their usernames here if they have an account already on uh, on uh, ossrh and uh, and here you can specify if you if this is already an existing project or something, but but just leave it at no if this is a new one. And then you can go ahead and just click create. As you can see, a new ticket will be created um, with st with status open here. It's going to be assigned to somebody. Um, you can keep uh, watching the issue here, and you'll receive notifications about its progress. It's going to take a while um, while here to to get this ticket closed and get your repository created. While we're waiting for our ticket, uh, we could take a look here um, further further down in the instructions and take a look at the re reviewing of the requirements. Uh, so for the details, it says see central component requirements. Let's jump there. And uh, let's have a look here. So 
One thing we're going to need is to supply the Java docs and sources. Uh, this is something we're going to handle with Maven and we'll return to this a little bit later. Um, next thing you need to do is to sign your files with GPG. Uh, and this is something we're also going to do with Maven to some extent, but uh, it's worth taking a look here. Just to make sure that, uh, that you have it installed and stuff. If you don't have it installed, uh, get it from here. You can always run a GPG uh, minus minus version to check, check that you have it installed. Uh, and then you can go ahead and generate a key pair using this G GPG generate key uh, and follow the rest of the instructions here. Um, at the end, you'll need to make sure that uh, that those are um, those are in the Maven settings XML file. But uh, but we're not going to go through these instructions in detail. Uh, we'll we'll return to this a little bit when we'll see how to to um, sign our files with uh, with Maven later on. But uh, make sure you have these generated, uh, generated, make sure you have the GPG keys on your computer. Let's get back to the requirements for now uh, and go, go forward. So sufficient metadata, and this is what we're going to go over now. Uh, so this is all the information that is required to be found in your Palm XML when, when, uh, when deploying this, so, or when publishing this. So let's go through this one by one here. So we need a group ID, check, we have that. Um, then we need an artifact ID, we have that as well, arithmetic here. Uh, we have a version, we're going to keep this at uh, 1.0 snapshot. Then we're going to make sure that we have a project name, a description and a URL. So it looks here that, uh, well, uh, name, arithmetic, that's fine. Or we could, we could even change this to uh, arithmetic library for uh, tutorial. And then uh, let's, we could change the URL actually just to, um, to our, our GitHub. So let's put GitHub. Uh, there we go, arithmetic, um, and then we need some kind of description. So let's add a description, and let's say that uh, this is a sample, sample library uh, for a tutorial about publishing to Maven Central. There we go, uh, and. We have the so name, description, URL, that's fine. Uh, then you need to declare the licenses that are being used. So uh, I'm using, um, I'm using uh, this, uh, this, this, this uh, MIT license. So I defined that in, uh, in GitHub already when creating the project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this licenses uh, for MIT here. Um, and uh, then next we're going to have a look here. We need developer information. So I'm going to add myself here. And let's go ahead and like this. And I'm just going to add myself here as a developer. So I'm going to add my name, uh, my email, and some other information about me. So just add my email, organization. Uh, well, we could just put this here. Uh, nope. And organization URL is going to be just our GitHub URL for now. Um, moving forward, we're going to need some uh, source control management information. So basically, we're just going to point to our uh, to our GitHub repository. So let's copy this here. I'm going to add this, and uh, of course, this is not correct at the end. So we're just going to switch these to be to be our um, right master. I think we can just copy this whole thing. Yep. And there we go. Uh, there are some examples if you're hosting somewhere else than, uh, than uh, GitHub. So if you're using Bitbucket or anything else. Uh, and uh, finally, here's, a f here's an example of a full palm with, uh, with everything you need. But uh, we should be good to go with this. Of course, we'll find out for sure a little bit later. But, um, but uh, for now, it looks like we have everything listed here in the, the requirements uh, in, in central.sonotype.org. And I got some really good news. So it looks like the ticket I opened in uh, in Jira was resolved very, very quickly. So uh, so here we can see that it actually <laughs> took just a few minutes to resolve it. And uh, we can see in the comments on the ticket that uh, that I, my user, or I can now deploy snapshot artifacts, release artifacts, uh, and so on and so forth. So we can now proceed with the tutorial and uh, go ahead and deploy this. To publish, we still have a few requirements that we need to meet. So uh, let's jump back here into OSSRH, uh, the, the, the main guide. And um, 
and then let's go a little bit down and uh, go to deployment we see a few options here and so since we're using uh, maven we're going to go look at the maven instructions scrolling down a little bit uh, we can see here distribution management and authentication so in order to to configure maven to deploy uh, we're going to have a, have a plugin configured like so so let's look back in our pom xml here and uh, let's scroll down a little bit and after dependencies we can go ahead and just uh, actually copy most of this i think we don't have plugins defined here yet and we don't have oh we do have the build tag here so let's go ahead and just add this plugin and uh, let's add this plugin here under under the main one there we go and then we're going to go ahead and copy this distribution management tag which i believe we don't have here yet nope so we're going to go ahead and we can copy distribution management um maybe under under licenses here so there we go and then uh then scrolling down a little bit more we can also see that we're going to need uh this this uh full distribution management section so looking here we have the top part but we're for the snapshot repository but we're also going to want this repository thing here you'll also need to make sure that in your uh, set settings.xml which is not a project specific thing, but your global Maven uh, settings settings file. Uh, you have your uh, OSSRH, Jira ID and password configured there. For example, for me, I can find it uh, in Windows under users, then my name and there's a hidden file m2. And in there, there's a settings.xml file. Make sure that you, you have these, uh, uh, these defined there. Moving on, um, as we saw earlier in the in the other requirements link, uh, we need Javadoc and source attachments, um, but instead of having to generate them manually, we can just go ahead and copy these uh, these plugins here. So I'm going to copy the the Maven source plugin and the Maven Javadoc plugin. We can just copy these and add them to our plugin definitions here. Uh, and then, as we talked about earlier, we need the GPG uh, signed components. So again, instead of manually signing every Java file, we're going to use this uh, Maven GPG plugin here. Uh, to, to sign the files for us. So we're going to just add that here in our growing list of plugins. As with the deploy plugin, uh, we, we need to check here that in our global maven settings.xml file, we have, uh, we have the credentials for, for GPG set there. So you'll find it in the same place we just looked at. In the same settings, settings XML, you'll need to have this configured there. And finally, we'll need to actually define that, that deployment plugin. So let's copy this here and add one more plugin to the list. And now we have the Nexus uh, staging, staging plugin, plugin set. Next, let's go ahead and uh, deploy this. For that, jump to your command line of choice, uh, CD to the file that you want. Uh, this is not my command line of choice <laughs> necessarily, but we'll use this for this example. Uh, so I CD to the file with my project and let's go ahead and run Maven clean deploy. So we got a build failure here uh, and scrolling up a little bit, we can see that it says that build plugin plugins must be unique and that it found a duplicate for uh, org Sonatype plugins, Nexus staging Maven plugin. So uh, if we jump here, we can see that actually we had, uh, we had this one in du duplicate. So we had this one defined here and we had it defined again at the bottom. So actually uh, I'm going to remove this one that we defined defined twice. I was just following <laughs> following the instructions and they noticed that it was already uh, already defined there. Uh, let's go ahead and try and run the um, oh, come on, uh, run this again. So let's go back here. And and let's run this command again. Looks like looks like it says unauthorized here, uh, so uh, I'm going to go check that I have all my credentials set in settings.xml and that everything is correct there. After checking the credentials, I'm going to go and try try and run this one more time.
And this time it looks like we were successful. Let's go, to, go ahead and check if we can find this. So we can copy this here, for example. Let's copy the snapshot. Uh, I wonder if that was copied. Let's <laughs> should do that again. Yeah, that was copied this time. And uh, if we jump back here to our browser and put that in, we can see that it's all been uh, uploaded uh, to, to uh, Sonotype uh, hosting. But that was just a snapshot deployment. And as you can see, snapshot uh, versions are not synchronized to the central repository. So we're going to actually want to perform a proper release deployment. And for that, we're first going to change the version here. So we're going to say um, Maven versions dot, uh, Maven version set and the new version for us will, will just be 1.0.0, so major version one. And this is actually going to modify the version in the POM XML and, and uh, possibly a few other relevant places. And now that we're done with that, uh, if you might want to commit this to version control because this will have done some changes to your uh, to your POM XML and have set the version there. But now we can go ahead and um, run the command uh, Maven clean deploy, and we're going to give the parameter release here, like so. And now that the release has been done, we should be able to find this uh, in the central repository. We can make sure of that by going to the central repository. We can go to browse here, uh, and then we're just gonna go to com, GitHub, and we should find ourselves here. Yep, there we go. And then we can see that arithmetic is here and uh, all of it can be found here. Um, it's uh, maybe good to note that uh, that the search might take a while to show up. So uh, it might be that uh, that this doesn't actually show up quite yet here and it might take a while for it to, to register. Eventually, however, it will. There we go. It's now registered. So we can see that, uh, that under our group ID, we have this artifact and the latest version. Uh, we have the everything available here for straight download. So we could just download the jar uh, by clicking here. But if we uh, jump here, we can see uh, under this version, we have the dependency information for, for all the common uh, dependency management systems for, for Java. So we have uh, Maven, we have this uh, builder that I'm not familiar with at all, then uh, Ivy and, uh, and uh, Groovy, Groovy and so on and stuff for Scala. So uh, now we could just provide this to somebody, they could add it to their project and they could use our uh, admittedly useless arithmetic functions that for, for big decimal types. If you are using uh, GitHub, one more cool thing that you can do is uh, add the, the, the Maven badge here. So if you edit your readme, you go to readme and click edit here. Uh, you can add a badge like so. Just of course replace, uh, replace here your group ID and here your artifact ID. And same thing here, you want to put your group ID and your artifact ID. Uh, then once you go ahead and commit this, uh, you will have now, now here um, in your repository you uh, the readme will display this badge here that will link straight to the latest version in maven central if you click this it'll go here and if you release a new version uh you'll uh, the the badge here will update accordingly that was an overview of how to publish your library to maven central uh this was of course one way to do it using a, a certain set of tools you might have a slightly different uh different build tools or, or a, a somehow a different setup for your your project uh so so details may vary but that was one one way to do it um i hope you learned something and until next time